first is just don't go out there and just cover it up with feed and expect results overnight. You know, people get really antsy about putting feed out there and just thinking deer are going to jump right on it and then next year I'm going to have 30 inches better on my, on my antlers. It's a process. So, and it's something that you have to be committed to. That, that's the biggest thing is we see people, I see so many people put protein out just during hunting season and wonder why their deer aren't bigger. So it's something that you have to be committed to, primarily that January through August window, you know, when we're actually going to, to affect antler production. So, you know, that's really the first thing is just not being in it for the long haul is the biggest mistake that I see. Secondly is they don't usually have enough feeders. Um, most people will put, you know, they've got 640 acres or 1,000 acres and they put two protein feeders on it. And if you're not effectively getting enough protein into that animal, you're not going to affect any of the you know, dynamics that we're trying to, to improve. So when I talk about the amount of feeders that you need, you need to have at least one permanent protein feeding station for every 25 head of deer you're feeding. That's kind of just, you know, 20 to 30, somewhere in that range. That and, you know, I, I'm, I know I work for a feed company and we're talking about feed, but people don't focus enough on habitat and water. Dude, I don't care if it's bare dirt out here, they're gonna go chew on a rock or something if you got it out there. So you need to focus more on your habitat, your water improvement, and then worry about your supplementation program. Once you've got everything in place that you can do from a mother nature standpoint, then you give us a call and we can come in there and take you to the next level.